the tool. To carry out the material preparation activity, the first step is to heat up the soldering iron. For tools that have a range of heating levels, adjust the temperature and set up to 250 degrees. Installing components This is the bolt that will be used in this project. It's called strip bolt. This bolt already has holes that allow direct component installation. On this bolt, we can see thick green lines known as transits or pathways that separate conductors. It is important to note that components must be installed beyond these transits to avoid short cuts. Component pins must be bent according to the distance of hole to be used. The use of long nose pliers is necessary to obtain neat bending results. Components need to be inserted on the surface of the board that does not have copper track. Ensure that the body of the component is close to the surface of the board for a neat result. While component pins need to be on the opposite surface. Check the heating level. Place the soldering iron on a wet sponge to check if the soldering tip is hot enough. Testing can also be done by using a piece of paper. Begin the soldering process. Heat the component's legs and copper tracks by placing the tips of the soldering irons on both items simultaneously. Wait for 3 seconds, then place the solder lid. Separate the solder lid followed by the soldering iron. Cutting components legs. Cut the component legs using a plier cutter for neat results. Dissolve the ring. If there has a connection error, the component can be dissolved using a solder sucker and solder wick. Check connections. After completing the soldering process, Please check the connections of the circuits. Make sure there are no short circuits occur. If there has a short circuit, you can desolder it again. I hope you all learned some things and know how to build the electronic circuits.